sometimes you will not want the background in an image and you would like to have it removed. So I've imported this image into Corel Photo Paint. In order to remove the background, I go to Image Cutout Lab and I get my image in here and what I will do is I will zoom in. It's much easier to work with the photo enlarged and I just use the roller ball on my mouse to do that. Then this nib size is very small so I'll increase it to about a 15. I'll take my mouse and click and draw and you will want to get the line you're drawing halfway on what you want to keep and halfway on the background. And I would click and let go every once in a while in case you make an error then when you do your control Z to undo it only undoes a portion of it and not everything that you've worked on. So this process will take quite a while and I will go around and create this line around the entire image of my son and I'll come back and show you what it will look like. So now I have traced around my son. I'll use the roller ball to decrease the image so you can see and where the green is. Now you must have a closed area so the starting point and any point must come together. I will then get my inside fill tool and click and it will fill everywhere that will be the part of the image that remains. I tell it to preview. Now this is where a lot of the cleanup process comes in if things were accidentally deleted that I didn't want deleted or things remained that I don't want to remain. So again we're going to have to zoom in and I already can see over here on the left side some of the paint was removed. So what I can do is I can get my additive detail button or my removal button, which whatever I need. I'm going to click on add and it's going to come back in here and I'll just click and drag over it so it brings back in anything it took out that I didn't want taken out. And again, I can see more. So these areas that I'm showing right now are very easy to add back in. But there might be areas that are a little more tricky, and that's generally around the hair. So let's, let's go up there real quick. And that's one of the reasons why I chose this image. Because my son's hair at that age was, was spiky, it was just growing in. And I'm going to get my removal tool. And this is an area where you'll probably want to zoom in, keep your nib size small, so you can easily add and remove portions that you want or don't want. So this around the hair is going to be the most time consuming area. So I'm going to clean up the rest of this image and again I will return when I have done that. So now I have zoomed back out. I've cleaned up the image how I would like it. I'll click on OK. And once I click on OK, I'm done with Cutout Lab. I cannot go back. So be very careful before you click on that OK. So I click on it, and here is the image of my son that I can export and then take it into Draw to continue with the photo engraving process.